to attend from a basketball court to civil court. San Antonio superstar Victor Wembanyama is suing an Austin business. The federal lawsuit filed this week claims Wemby's World has been selling merchandise with Wemby's name and image without his permission. Tonight, we speak with legal experts and a familiar fan spokesperson. Ken's Five reporter Hannah Tita explains why one attorney says this case is a slam dunk. Wherever he goes, fans follow. But some have been trying to cash in on the Wemby effect. This week, attorneys representing Spurs player Victor Wembinyama filed this federal lawsuit claiming the owner of Wemby's World used the superstar's name and likeness without permission. The website sells a variety of L. Wemby merchandise, from sweatshirts to bibs to wrapping paper. If it's resembling a celebrity, no matter who it is, uh, an athlete or a, you know a, a rock star, wh whoever it is, you cannot re uh, usurp their image for profit. You just can't. Wemby's attorneys claim James Glodich ignored their multiple cease and desist letters. Here's intellectual property attorney Michael Cohen. You know, part of the power of a celebrity is their name, image, and likeness. That's how they're able to get these big endorsements. These big brands like Nike and Louis Vuitton. So. If there's any third parties that will have an impact on that, then that can dilute the power of the name, image, and likeness. Locked on Spurs host and Ken's Five Spurs writer, Jeff Garcia, has been following fan reaction. A lot of Spurs fans, I would say 90%, 99.9% of them understand, Wimby. There is a little sliver of Spurs fans that are saying, come on, Wimby, you ready to go after the little guy? Garcia believes this lawsuit serves a bigger purpose. I think it's just a, a warning to everybody. Hey, be careful. This is a global icon. This is a global star. And I reached out to the Austin business owner and Wembenyama's attorneys for comment, and I'm waiting to hear back from both parties. Now, tonight, Wemby's world uh, is no longer operating online. IP attorney Michael Cohen, he's pretty confident that Wembenyama's team will succeed in getting the website to stop using Wemby's likeness, but whether they succeed in recovering monetary damages is a whole other ballgame. Reporting live in the newsroom, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5. Hannah, thank you.